Hello and welcome to another vlog by yours truly, Christine. Today is slightly different. Countdown is on to Fan Expo 2017 and this year I decided that I, Christine, me, was going to, I'm going to cosplay. That's who you might ask, but all you guys who are on my Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram, you all know that I'm currently obsessed with Winona Earp and uh, Catherine Barrow, just like my tweet about drunk Nicole. So, because my hair is the right length, I'm going to go as Officer Nicole Hot from Winona Earp. So today has been a day of going out and buying and researching. So I've went to Valley Village and Michaels to get what I can without going on the internet and there's a few things that I need to order online as well. So I'm going to show you everything that I bought. So first up is my hat. Now Nicole wears a cowboy hat and it has a leather band around it and it has a big badge here. This is Purgatory Sheriff. Now the badge is actually too expensive for me to buy at this stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this hat which is from Calgary which is coincidentally where the show is filmed and I've got some leather to put around here and we shall wear it. Now this is actually the cheapest item surprisingly that I bought from Value Village for this cosplay and I think the leather was a bit more expensive but it's not too bad. Now this is like the perfect colour. It's got a few dents in it which should be fine because it's going to be going this way anyway so it shouldn't look too bad but I'll, I'll have a look and see if it's anything that I can steam to make it perfect. Second up is this brown fake leather belt. Now there are going to be a few bits to attach on like there's going to be a gun holster. I've got a little coin pouch which is just for me for at Fan Expo and I'm getting another little pouch to go on the other side because Nicole has one and I'm going to need somewhere to put my phone and my keys while I'm there. So that's what that's going to be for. This is the most expensive part of the outfit so far and is probably the entire belt is definitely going to be the most expensive part of the entire outfit because I found an amazing gun holster online. It's a 1980 USSR genuine leather gun holster that I'm going to be ordering online tonight. And I have the little coin pouch. I bought that from Michael's. I just need to take a tassel off, take a little keychain off and figure out a way to attach it onto my belt. Next up is a shirt, black shirt. It's got little bits here that I can attach the green and red onto. Then I can put a little bit here which is going to be for my police walkie and that should cover all this bit here but I'm going to be colouring it in in black sharpie anyway. And then I need to sew green and black, sorry green, green and black, green and red on here and this shirt apart from attaching on some purgatory badges, patches, purgatory patches on each arm, probably about here, which I'm going to order online as well tonight, and this will be perfect. So I actually went to the main section and bought this, it's the perfect fit to fit inside of my trousers, and I'm really happy with this find. Got it for like 10 bucks, but you know, if it works for me, that's all that really matters. And lastly, from Value Village, are these chinos from Roots. Uh, there's only one thing that has to be done to these, is I need to put a green stripe from here all the way down to the bottom of the trouser leg. So I got some fabric and I'm going to do that and hopefully I don't screw it up. And from Michael's I bought a random assortment of stuff. So we've got green and red fabric for the patches, for the air, for there, there, there and down my trousers. 
and I got the thread to sew on with. It's all going to be hand stitched because I don't have a sewing machine. I've got my layer cording to go around the hat. I've got my little coin pouch, which I need to find a way to attach on. I'll probably just stick something on here. I've got some, whoops, silver buttons, which will be going here, here, and probably here and here. So don't trust me on that one. Trust me on it. Don't take my word on that for the fact that they're going here, but and then we have some needles because I don't really have any needles apart from two from a travel sewing kit. And then I bought an actual sewing kit because I don't have one. So I knew that cosplaying was going to be hard and expensive, but I've got five weeks, so let's do this. So that was one month ago now that I filmed that last segment and the cosplay is finally 100% complete. It has been since last week but I've not tried it on and I've not made the video because I've been too busy watching Why Not Earth itself. I'm doing a rewatch live tweet, watching the season finale five times in a row while hungover. Thanks for that by the way guys. And I'm going to show it all off show you guys what I did and then I'm going to do a little hopefully piece at the end there to let you all see the cosplay properly. So I'm going to start off with the belt. So last time I showed you this I had a little tassel on it. So what I've done is I took the tassel off, cut the little bit off there, I just need to maybe trim that and what I did is I took a little bit of the leather strapping from the hat I had left over, sewed it on. Sewing through leather is really tough by the way. I don't recommend it unless you have a thimble. And I figured I could use this as like a little pouch for my keys or whatever. So I don't need to take a bag, but I probably will. I'm taking my camera. But Nicole has a little bit there for an ammo pouch, so this can double as that. Secondly, is the piece I was so super excited about, and is the thing that made me want to do the cosplay in the first place, is the gun holster. So this gun holster is a 1980s USSR leather gun holster, and it looks fantastic. It even has a little bit there for a knife in it and it just looks absolutely awesome. Now it will remain empty. I'll see if it has enough space for me to fit my phone into it. Now that was the plan originally but I probably won't use it for anything at all apart from just to sit there. But doesn't it look amazing? It looks so worn and lovely. Oh it makes a cosplay for me. Now, last thing on the belt itself, which is just a regular pleather brown belt that I bought, that I showed you last time, is I bought a lovely walkie talkie. Now, I wasn't going to make this purchase, but then decided I was going to. I had so much fun testing this out one day in the office and work for like five minutes. It does actually work, it's got like a range of 6 kilometers, and I got two of them for 20 bucks. Thank you Amazon. I figured this would be awesome on the belt of the cosplay, even if it doesn't get used, because it just looks awesome. So that was the belt. Now, this is the shirt. So this is the thing it probably took me the longest to actually make. So first things first. I got the little radio walkie that goes up here and figured that it looks completely amazing and it plugs into the walkie. It does actually play music through it. Secondly on the shirt Something that I was super excited to get and was actually the last thing that I got in is this. So this is my Nicole Hot badge that goes on my shirt just here. 
and I was super excited the day that this came in because it meant that the cosplay was finally complete and yeah I, I just love this badge it's like 20 bucks it's plastic it looks like metal but it is indeed plastic and yeah it was well probably the easiest purchase I did there now the shirt itself hmm this shirt was a nightmare so I bought it in Value Village and if you remember it was just all black and it had some writing on it that I wanted to get rid of so first things first what I did was I went to Michael's and I bought green fabric and red fabric and I bought buttons and threads and needles all that other good stuff that you buy in Michael's and I started sewing so I had to create a template for these thankfully there was ones already on there so I pulled them off and I sort of traced around them made them slightly larger than the ones that were there because I do have the little police walkie that's going to go over here so I sewed the green bit first tucked it all under and made it look nice and then I had to sew the red bit tuck it all under make it look nice and then I had to sew them together that was fun but even more fun was when I had to actually sew them onto this because what I did is I left a little red bit here that wasn't supposed to be there so I had to go back like a week later after realising my mistake and fix it all up so now it's slightly squint squint for all you people who are not in Scotland or speak Scottish or anything like that is it means that it's on an angle and doesn't sit quite right so that, that annoys me but it's, it's not by too much it's by like one degree but I'm really picky so after that take off the buttons create the buttonhole put it in and then it was flipping up so I had to sew it down so that's those there are two of them and as you can see both look identical and after that I was sewing the bits for the shirt pockets now this bit here was actually quite easy to make once I created a template which I did by pulling off the ones that were already there but they were square and whatnot after I'd drawn around them I actually just got a candle and used the curve of the candle to create the little ridges then I cut it out, stuck some pins in it, stuck it on the fabric and again like I did with these, sewed it, then the green bit, then sewed the red bit, then sewed them together then created these little buttonholes and put the buttons in then I had to change all these buttons out, the black ones because they all had writing on them and I do not like that so I had to go and change every single button on the front of the shirt and on the sleeves there are three four buttons three buttons on the sleeves and I had to change every single one of those that took me a whole night then lastly on the shirt ta -da, I have my purgatory sheriff department badges that I ordered on Etsy got them delivered obviously and then just sewed them on to the shirt and they seem to have stayed. I've, I've already washed this cosplay so I know that all the stitching is held but they definitely seem to be staying which is good. Um, so I've got one on each arm. So that there is the shirt. The khakis. They are a classic pant. Yes I did just quote Randy Nedley there with that but these are the pants. So I didn't do much to these, except from just sew a big huge green stripe up each side of them. They are an inch thick I think. And go from right the way underneath to right the way up to the belt loops. But it was alright sewing these. What I did is I actually sewed the stripes first and tucked it all under and made it look really pretty. And then I pinned them on, sewed up each side 
And then when I got to the belt loops, I sewed it onto the actual belt loop itself instead of sewing the sides down so that I can still get the belt through, which is fair enough. But I'm quite happy with the way that these turned out and they fit a dream. Now then, I know I said last time that I was probably just going to wear pumpers, but I couldn't do that. I had to stay faithful and what a bargain. I got a pair of Doc Martens from Valley Village for 30 bucks. They are the exact size that I needed and they are 100% perfect. I am just in love with these. I love Doc Martens anyway. I have a pair of bright purple ones. They're so comfortable except these ones will need insoles because someone else has worn them in. But I am very happy with this purchase. It's almost as if I was born to do this cosplay. Because every single time I've been into Value Village to buy something for this cosplay, they have had the exact thing that I've needed. Every single time I've went into Michael's to buy something for this cosplay, they have had the exact thing and the exact colours that I needed. So this has been awesome. Now there is just one more final thing for the cosplay. There is just one more thing that I needed for the cosplay and that is one hell of an awesome hat. So remember last time I said that I was probably just going to do the band round the front? I did that. Obviously this hat is not the exact same hat because I did buy it from Value Village for $3.50. It is slightly too small. It's a six and a half, it's six and three quarters. And if you've obviously watched season two, episode 10, you know that Nicole's barely a seven according to Doc. So it's quite funny because this isn't a seven, it's just below a seven. So it's absolutely perfect. Now, the front of this hat, the badge. It was going to cost me like 60 bucks and 20 business days to get a badge made. And apparently you're not even allowed to have a sheriff badge made by these companies unless you are actually in the police force. So I had to improvise. So what I did, and I'll post a few pictures down here because I didn't record any of this because I spent an entire day on it, an entire frustrating day on it is I made it out of cardboard and paper mache and paint. I have no idea how I managed to do it, so what I, well I obviously know how I did it, but how it turned out looking as half decent as it did, I will never know. So what I did is I found a picture of the badge online from one of the sites where I was using to buy the badge that I couldn't buy it on, and I printed it off and made sure that the size fit the hat. Then I had to tape onto the cardboard boxes and cut it out. So that's why it doesn't look 100% perfect. It's because it's a cardboard cutout with glue on it and paper and paint. But it does have a gap here underneath Sheriff, which is just paper that's actually the printout itself. It does have the badge on it, as best as I could get it, and it does have does say purgatory on it, which I'm really happy about. And it's just stuck on with a pin, which I hot glued on, and the bottom bit is just more hot glue, because I didn't have another pin. Yeah, I am so happy with the way that this turned out though. It's been sitting up on my bookcase for two weeks because I'm so proud of this. It's awesome. Like, look, I mean, it fits just, could have done with a slightly bigger size, but it looks good. So let's go try it all on for the first time. Wow, I am so impressed. <laughs> I'm legit so happy with this right now. I'm going to pick up the camera so you can all see. And I'm going to take you over to the mirror. So, obviously this is my hat. This is me. I'm going to turn you around. Excuse any mess in the kitchen. There shouldn't really be much though. So, I got my police radio. I got my badge. I got my shirt with my badges. No, 
I got my shirt with my veggies on them. I got my pants. I got my belt with my owl pouch and my walkie and my gun holster, which I can just do. Psh. Not that I have a gun that I'm taking with me because of the their policies. I didn't really get a straight answer. So if I end down the bottom. We have my boots. My boots. I am so happy right now. I never want to take this off. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna wear this all day, every day, for the rest of my life because I never want to take this thing off. One, it is so comfortable. I love it so, so much. I'm so proud of myself for making it. Not the amount of money I spent on, but on the, on the dedication that I put into it to making sure it was all as perfect as I could get it. I'm so happy with just the way that it looks as it's turned out. I can't wait for you all to see it at Fan Expo. Today's Monday. Fan Expo starts on Thursday and I have Friday off work so that I can cosplay all the way through the Labor Day weekend at Fan Expo. But all you guys are going to Dragon Con. Please, please, please enjoy it. Take lots of pictures and lots of video of all the cast. I'm so jealous that all of you are going to be there. I don't have the money to go, so I'm doing Fan Expo instead. But it's Rocky Horror Year at Fan Expo. And there's a Carmella panel as well, which she had last year, that I, that I was at last year. That was awesome. So I am so excited for all of it. And if you're there at Fan Expo, please come up and say hi to me. Please come up and take pictures. Please come up and take videos. I will not mind one bit. And yeah, please come and see me if you spot me and say hi. But I think that's it for this video. I'm going to do a small video that's going to be on my Twitter. The links are down below for all my social medias. Please go follow me there as well. I've been tweeting non-stop about Winona Earp. I've been polite and no chill about it since the season began but even more so in the week leading up to the season finale because as I said, I was rewatch live tweeting and I think I posted 600 times in the space of seven days, possibly. That number is not accurate, but it's probably about that. I made so many gifts. I laughed so many times. I cried so many times. I got drunk at the season finale, which if you were on the Whiskey and Donuts hangout, you probably saw and I sincerely apologise for that. But I am so excited. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like my cosplay. And I hope to see you all at Fan Expo.